Hello everyone, this is Joanna and welcome to this video. Um, I wanted to share with you a primarily nail polish haul. I got a few makeup items, but I kind of went on a binge. I had more gift cards that I had found um, that I had had around Christmas. So I bought a lot of things that I wanted. Um, it's mostly nail polish, like I said, but I did want to show you something really, really quickly, if I may. Um, I put up a video about this nail look right here, and I wasn't really talking much because it occurred late at night when I was half asleep. But I just wanted to say, um, I wasn't sure that I liked this polish, and I was on the fence about whether or not I wanted a big one or not. Since the color um, Can't Find My Checkbook is close to flying high, it's not too close. It's lighter. In fact, when I first wore it, um, I wasn't sure that I liked it, and I didn't need a big bottle. And now that I've done this with it, I do like it. And the way that I didn't explain or what I would like to explain now is I had put on two coats of this polish and then I sponged on um, the older white Conad polish. I just put it on a sponge and hit my nail with it sporadically, um, you know, wherever it landed. It wasn't like in any order. It was very random. And then I put on one coat of this glitter. And this is not very shimmery. Um, most of the shine from this look is coming from my um, fairy dust. So after this dried, I then stamped these hearts on. Then I applied my fairy dust. And then I put on my Sesh Feet top coat. But I do like this enough to where I am going to go out and get a big bottle. I was going to get a big bottle of this one, the um, You're Such a Budapest, but I happen to have Sweet Tooth by Sinful Colors. I think it's either Sweet Tooth or Cotton Candy. One of those two colors are exactly the same. I compared them. Now, on to my haul. The first thing I wanted to also say is I had gotten myself this uniform. And when I did my nails, I hadn't paid attention to this uniform. But if you'll notice, minus the hearts, this look goes with this uniform pretty well. And this is what I do now. Um, I made a comment a long time ago that I used to match my... Um, tennis shoes or whatever with my uniforms and I started wearing crazy patterns like this so what's funny is my co-workers that do like some of the nail stamping that I do a lot of them think that I do it to match the uniform and what actually happens is I actually do a nail look first whatever I come up with and then the next day I look for something that matches it so it was pretty funny that I did this like I bought the uniform a couple of days ago I did this look, you know, early this morning, last night, you know, what have you. And then I noticed that this matches, but I won't wear this uniform until Tuesday. But I just thought that was kind of funny. And these are the pants. It's just a plain shirt. But I do like that pattern a lot. So, now, on to some of the things that I got. Bath and Body Works was having a sale, which I didn't know about because I've been trying to stay out of there. Anytime I don't want to spend money, I can't do no buys like you guys do because that makes me worse. I have to just stay out of whatever store it is that I know that it's my weakness. But I got all of these for like 20 bucks. They were all half price, so they were not $15. And I discovered that I like these two a lot. And I have said before, usually when I go to Bath & Body Works, because they have burning oils or candles in there, I really can't smell a lot of stuff, and I think I hate it. And then if I get a little bottle or buy it and get it out of the store, I really, really like it. This one is the Sweetheart Honey one. This really does smell nice. And then this one is because of those bars of soap that I had. I'm glad that I waited. I just got this lotion to go with it. Um, and then, let's see. This is also not in any order. From my julep box for this month, I got these three colors here. And the white one was apparently my add-on, which I had forgot about because I had points to get um, a box for free. So this blue one here is Bess. And I don't know if this is because of July. It's a prettier blue than it's showing up. And then this red is not really a red to me. It's like a brick type color. It's called Nan. And this dark blue here, which looks very pretty, is called Char. Almost looks black, so hopefully you can see that that's blue. And then I did an add-on that I forgot about, and it's called Bunny. The Advent Garden Collection from China Glaze had a color called Just Dandy Lying Around, and I missed that one, so I'm still looking for it. I might have to go on eBay. But this is just a white with some gold shimmer in it, so I thought this would be pretty to, um, next time I do a white and gold stamping. 
Um, I went to Sephora, and these are the things I'm going to show you that I got from Sephora, if I can put them in order. One of the things was I picked up this purity sample, which was good for me because I had been hearing so many things about purity that I wanted to try it, and I was happy they had a sample. I only got two. I'm still on the fence about it, but I think I like it. I kind of like the way it smells. It smells the way those um, wet naps used to smell years ago, that lemony type scent. But I'm going to try this one and see how I feel. Um, I don't know if I showed this before, but I got the Jasmine Mirror, which I like this because it's got the big end or the big mirror and the regular size mirror. And then, of course, I got these because I like these colors. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to try to do something. And hopefully you can see that. These colors, and they are Fairy Tale Romance, Your Wish is My Command, Fit for Royalty, Dream Princess, All That Jasmine, and Aladdin's Girl. So I was really interested in this glitter polish here. And I'm sorry for the glare on that. The next thing I got was this Kat Von D eyeshadow. And I like her makeup. So this is the first thing of hers um, that I have thus far. And I have been in this. I was playing around in this. So I like those colors a lot. I don't like that this one right here, this new color, is kind of frosty. I was hoping it was going to be plain. So the look that I tried with this, I substituted in um, that nude color from my um, Theodora palette. So those are the brown shades, if you can see them. That middle one kind of blends in pretty good. But that's a little bit too frosty for me, so I'll probably use that as an inner corner highlight. Once I learn how to do that, I'm still watching a lot of you guys on here. And then I got these pencils. I wanted the Deep End eyeshadow, but I can't find it at the Sephora or the Ulta where I live. So I might have to get that offline. So that's what that looks like. And I got to be careful with these because I think my air is not working really, really well. So it's kind of hot here right about now. So I don't want to um, melt these or have them be too warm. And then this one was the whiskey one. When I first found out about the Naked palette, I think I discovered it a year after it was actually out. And the double-ended pencil had this color. So now they have it available. So I thought I would purchase that. And then the next thing, and I believe might be the last Sephora item I have, is this eyeshadow here in Woodstock. And like I said, I'm still after deep end um, hate and radium, but I just think this pink is prettier than the pink that is in the um, Vice palette. I think it's more of a deeper shade of pink. It's not so sheer and you don't need a lot of it. So since my palettes are full, I have nowhere to put that. Then, let's see, I also went to, I think, Blondie's. Oh, sorry. This right here came from Blondie's. This is the mini couture, and I didn't think I wanted this because I have the other mini set in full size. So I was glad they had this in the small size, and I will go back and get the glitter. This was only like $10.95 for her because some places charge a whole lot of money for that. Um, I did also get from our St. Mary's DME Hospital. The OPI Matte Top Coat. Now, I have several of these. I just kind of want one for each polish line, except for the China Glaze one. I don't hear good things about that. But I do still want the Essie Matte About You. But so far, I have a Julep one unopened, a clean color one that works really well. It doesn't fade my stamping, and this one. And then I got my very first Knockwurst. Because I've been on Instagram, and someone did a, um, I don't know if you call it gradient, with this color and Honk If You Love OPI, and they stamped in um, Penny Talk, Essie's Penny Talk. So I really, really like that combination, so I got this, but I probably won't be using it until the fall. Now, um, the rest of the polishes that I got from Blondie's, I got all except for three of the Sensationals um, line. I did not get um, Keeping It Teal. But I do want to go back and get that one. 
um, Son of a Peach, I think it was called. I do want to go back and get that one. And I'm still on the fence about I'll See You Later. I hear it's a real sheer blue. But here are the colors that I did get. I got Shell O. And this is a mix of jellies and creams. And I don't know per se which is which. But this looks like it might be one of the creams. So this is Shell O. And then I got Heat Index. And I really like how bright that is. So I'll be doing a lot of sponging with these, kind of like what I did here with white or a darker color. Then I also got You Drive Me Coconuts, which is another real pretty pink color. I seem to be getting a lot of pink colors. I like a lot of them, but I'm having a hard time finding some that will look right once I get them on. This one is That's Shore Bright. And I really, really like this one a lot. This next one, which is similar to the Four Audrey, um, but it is a little bit brighter, is Two Yacht to Handle. So this is a little bit brighter. It's not the exact match to Four Audrey or Aquadelic, but it is close. The next one that I have is Are You Jelly? Now, someone did mention that they didn't think that these were quite neon, and I kind of agree with them. They're bright, but not necessarily fully neon. There is a neon that uh, Models Own has that kind of looks like um, Pink Punch, and you can tell it's neon. This one is Bottoms Up. And this one is Highlight of My Summer which I like greens like this. This is a little bit more mintier than some of the greens that I had. And then the last thing that I got was I had heard about this sesh overlay from watching a Vanny Lou video. And I couldn't find it here. And then when I went in there unexpectedly, she had it. And I can't believe I don't have it. Shame on me. They gave me a free um, white, let's see here. Crackle polish, because they always give you a nice little treat. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a couple more things also. Let's see here. Could I have bought so much stuff that I actually forgot? <laughs> okay, I have this little kit right here, because I was looking for a cuticle tool, and I was going to get a single one, but they were like $18, and the cost wasn't the problem. It was the fact that I was looking for one that looked a certain way. And this one had the little scoop end down there. And it had this little end right here. The other ones were straight. And so I got this kit because it was $3 less and you got more things. So I'll use these as eyebrow scissors. So I got that. And this was the free item. She gave me a white crackle. At first I didn't think I wanted it, but now that I'm learning to do other things with crackle polish, I think I can use this maybe over those neon colors and do some stamping. But this was free. That's what I like about Blondies, Miss Lisa and the other lady that's in there. They give you free stuff. This right here is a color by Finger Paints, and it is called, Le I think, sorry about that, Leonardo's Lime. I keep wanting to say Leonard's Slime. I don't know why. <laughs> and that's a pretty green color. And then the last thing that I got is because I saw... I think it was Robin's Nails, but I'm not sure. Not Robin Moses, but this is a person I follow on Instagram. She used um, a DRK nail plate with Sanskrit. This color is a base. And one of the gold polishes that I have with a dragon on it. And I love that look so much, I want to try it. So I am going to be getting some new nail plates. I had said to um, a fellow YouTuber that I follow, I think it's Hilda Goes There, I was talking to her um, through messages, and she showed some new plates, and I made a comment how I'm not getting no more plates, and I'm done, and well, turns out that I was wrong, because I am finding plates from DRK, LLC, um, there was somewhere else that I wanted to order some plates from, I think Dashka Beauty or something like that, yeah, they have nice plates, so I got to get me some of those, and they're different. They're not the same. So that was all that I have for everyone. I thank you for tuning 
in and until the next time and until all of your videos. So everyone have a great evening.